What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Jeff. I'm the owner of RDR Gear here in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you don't know what we do at RDR, you can find it a couple different ways. One, through our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, our website, rdrgear.com, and our YouTube page, RDR Gear, where we do all our reviews on gear that we purchase, shoot, manufacture, etc. Today we have a weird, well, not weird, actually a pretty cool gun. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, this is the new Breda 92X RDO. It is unique in a couple different ways and kind of a typical indication of big box brands thinking they don't need to support or reach out to smaller guys who have kind of mastered some things about the big box branding pistols. So if you guys know, this is the new 92 series. It's been out a couple years now. Um, they are basically updating the original Breda 92 SF. This pistol, if you just wanted a Breda out the box, is to have one, phenomenal pistol. Um, the features of the new gun, front cocking serrations, the Vertec frame, the short reset trigger, this thing is legit. Um, if you guys can see this, um, if you ever had a Breda before, you'll notice the trigger was notoriously horrible. But watch the reset here. Right there. That is all the over travel you have to reset. Unlike a traditional A2SF, that trigger was terrible. This one's legit. You get the Vertec grip, so you get a much more up and down grip. You get the standard, uh, I guess, Palmer panels, and you also in the box has a overmold panel that works out great. This is decock and safe. You can convert it to decock only to where the safety goes back to normal and you don't have a safe on the pistol. What makes this one kind of frustrating, you know, but I understand kind of why they did it. This is a red dot capable pistol, that hence the RDO, red dot optic for 92. This 92X has the Beretta footprint for a red dot. You'll notice I don't have it on there. It's for a couple of reasons. One, it's like adding a skyscraper to the top of this slide. So once you your height over bore and your mechanical offset would be just nuts because of the how big the plate is and how it mounts to the gun. When you also look at it, you can see this mounting plate dot right here, right, how far forward it is. I don't believe, and I've read a few th articles on it, that with the way the plate will hang over as the gun, as the gun goes to eject that round, that round very well is gonna hit that front of that mounting plate. Why they did not just take the Langdon Tactical model or license that technology from Langdon Tactical, I have no clue. It's very much a lot of like things we do with Safari Land, right? Some of the mods that we do and some of the features we do, I'd be open to share that with anybody at Safari Land. They just choose not to work with us or reach out to us, contact us, whatever, but if you're going to go to a red dot pistol, the LTT model would be a much better investment for your money, especially if you wanted a red dot ready pistol because of the sight, co-witnessing, everything else on that pistol, the way the plate mounting works, the way the slide is done, all the internals are rechanged. It's really a deep dive that the Langdon team has done to make a pistol or make a feature for a pistol to slide on a gun that was never, ever intended to be a red dot ready pistol. Beretta's version of it, it's the typical shortcut, let's do it our way. We'll, we'll, it'll be red dot ready, but it won't be the best possible red dot ready that they could produce. So that's what you get with any 2X. Outside of that, right, it, again, if you wanted to have a 92, if you're working security guard, if you wanted just to have a fun range shooter, this thing is a tack driver. It shoots phenomenal. That reset, that double action, super clean. The reset on that trigger is phenomenal. That's it right there. It, it really is a great trigger. Uh, holster compatibility, this will probably be a bitch because this weird swoop thing right here. Not sure what this is all about, but that is a catch point for a holster. So if you had a 92 Vertec mold made, you have no problem. But if you were to take this and do traditional foam molding, this would be a pain in the ass right here. 
Um, but again, on Bretta's, since with the drop down in the barrel shroud here, or the, or the slide top, I should say, um, you're gonna have problems anyway. So if you are a holster maker and you were gonna support this pistol, I definitely recommend going somewhere, Pale Horse Concealment, uh, any of the companies who are doing mold, I know Kirk does one, you'd be better off just getting a mold made for the Breda model and then run it that way. But again, uh, I like the pistol. Retail on these things are about $6.99. So very affordable, very easy on the wallet. Um, dovetailed front and rear. I see where Breda cut back on some of the costs versus putting the fiber optic in the front. They did the orange paint on the front. Today, once I put my glasses on, it was much easier to pick up. But uh, once my glasses are on, I was good to go. It's a little bit hard to pick up. It's a very wide front sight. So having this notch here, I'd probably go to a fiber optic similar to on the Langdon Tactical. Um, now when I say Langdon Tactical too, guys, remember that there's an LTT custom shop pistol that you get from the Langdon team in Arizona. Then you have an LTT factory licensed a model that Beretta distributes to distributors and retailers. There's a significant price increase. The next time you guys come to the channel here, I'm gonna have a LTT factory RDS gun, and then I'll have a LTT non-RDS Beretta distributed pistol, and we'll kind of go over both of them. So this will be the first pistol in a couple of different upcoming um, Beretta videos. But other than that, you know, there's a significant price increase. I think the Langdon guns start around $1,800, give or take. You won't quote me, you know, the website. But you also can get these guns and get a new top end. So you could have the best of both worlds, a irons top end and a red dot top end. But the red dot top end you're getting is what a red dot Beretta should be if you were to go that route. So other than that, you know, the 92 series are, I think they're great pistols. This is a much better option to get your first Breda if you just wanted to have a Breda 92. This 92X series or the X full size is a great option. The plate does not come with the gun. You have to contact Breda and it's been a little bit tough doing that, but I give them a pass on that. We just got out of SHOT Show, so you know that's something there, but a basic plate for RMR footprint could easily come in the box than anything else outside of that could be ordered specifically, whatever, but RMR probably is the dominant footprint out there. So I don't think that would be too far of a stretch to ship it with something to get the pistol up and ready for Red Dot if the customer chose that. But at the end of the day, you've got two vertical screws right here. You'll see both these here. Um, and with the plate height, it's completely washed out the use of the irons uh, and the way that plate sits over the ejection port here, um, I just foresee issues and I, so I haven't really pushed beyond the effort I've already made to get a plate. I, I don't really care anymore because I'm probably not gonna put a dot on this gun. Um, but at the end of the day, it was fun to shoot. It's good to have it here in the shop. Um, and again, I do like how it fits in the hand. Price point solid, features are solid, trigger is great. As true to Beretta 92s, it was a tack driver to hit the range. So overall, for $600, that's a great option to get into the Breda 92 lineup if you don't already have one. So that's my overall review of the Breda 92 XRDO. If you like what you see, we post three videos every week on gear that we review, gear that we manufacture, gear that we sell. Until next time, be well. Take care. Cut. You want a cookie? I have a cookie right here. Chrissy won't eat it because it was baked on 1.5. And we're at 124 today. So what is that? Like t two weeks? It's a it's a cookie. It's not a big deal, right? I think it's been a bitch, honestly. <laughs>